welcome to the testing world so now we are on step 4 of APM installation steps so here that is a step 4 in which we need to set up Eclipse for the coding so previously we have seen how we can set up Java or I'll say JDK and set the environment variable then we have set up Android SDK and set environment variable now we are going to set up Eclipse for the coding so because when we are going to automate applications mobile applications through APM we need to write coding and we are going to use Java for this complete course so here we need to write coding in Java language and for writing Java language we are having an editor with the name Eclipse so we need to download and set up Eclipse moving to the Google download Eclipse here it shows the Eclipse download you can download whatever the latest version you want so here the latest version is Eclipse oxygen just click on the download 64 bit and download so it's going to download Eclipse and again it's a file of 46.4 MB so I'm just waiting for Eclipse download to be completed in the meantime I'm just pausing the recording so download is completed just click on this downloaded file run it's going to set up Eclipse on my machines again this installation process is going to take some time so in between when it's going to take a lot of time I'll pause the recording here it is asking for which Eclipse you want to install Eclipse ID for Java developer Java EE developer C C++ developer JavaScript so I'm selecting Java EE developers and just whatever the location you want to select you can keep it install accept license so now it's going to download remaining file of the Eclipse and going to install so again this installation is going to take some time so I'll pause the recording and once it is done I'll move forward so now installation is done and we just need to click on the launch button and this Eclipse is going to be launched so I'll show you the first page of the Eclipse then we'll move to the next step so this installation process took around 5 to 10 minutes it depend on your internet connection because it's going to do a lot of files from the internet it's asking for the workspace workspace is the area where we are going to save our code so I'll show you all these things when we are going to start Java I'm just clicking on the launch and now my Eclipse should be launched so now we are on the Eclipse and it shows the welcome screen so now Eclipse installed successfully that's all we have for this Eclipse installation session. Thanks for watching this video.